In just seconds. Almost every kid, I think. Like, so many kids cheat in, like, every class. Somebody else is the reason your F turns into an A. If, like, somebody already has the answers, why would they do the work when they could just copy it off? But gone are the days of whispering the answer to a friend. This is a new era of cheating in school. You don't have to have their number to airdrop it, so it's just like a fast way to just like get answers fast, like in the middle of a test, like just snap a picture and they have it. It all starts with one student. Once they send out a picture of the test answers from their smartwatch. Oh, got it on my iPad. Oh yeah, same here. Oh, nice, got him. Anybody who has a device and has airdrop turned on can get those answers in an instant. <laughs> Olivia Oberly and Grayson Crosby are high schoolers in Queen Creek and say kids cheat like this every day. They say when it's not through airdrop, it's on different apps. Some that automatically just do the work for you. Snapchat and photo math. Have you ever heard of that? No. You just take a picture of the math problem and it tells you the answer. These girls say there's a troubling trend too. Class homework <laughs> is a breeze. A lot of people will copy off of like the one, like the smartest person in the class. So they'll get, everybody will get 100% on the homework. But then sometimes students aren't able to cheat during the test. We fail the test. So the teacher obviously knows that something's going on. And the reality is. If it's cheatable, they're going to figure out a way. Teachers can't keep up. Yeah, I think for sure the students are quicker to know the technologies and how to use them than the teachers know. Maggie Fountain is a teacher with the Tempe Union High School District. These kids that are cheating, do you think they're bad kids? No, not at all. Not at all. <gasps> they cheat because it's a shortcut. It, they've got a lot of pressure on their plate. She says to students, it's about an instant solution because often they don't value the content they're learning. They just want to get it over with while still getting by. But she also says years ago, testing went more toward multiple choice and streamlined answers. Answers that can be quickly graded. <gasps> but that also makes it easy to cheat. Now what we're realizing is after few years of doing that, it isn't producing the kind of student learning that we want. Olivia says ultimately it's showing in AZ Merit standardized scores too. When it comes to like the state testing and like all that stuff you can't cheat off of, like it's embarrassing. Maggie says teachers and schools need to write better tests that require critical thinking where there may be several right answers and students must apply what they've learned so it's harder to cheat. It isn't that life has always got one answer that's the right answer. It's finding the best answer and supporting that answer. She says some teachers are trying to tackle technology before a test even begins. A lot of teachers have places to put phones and devices when they come in. But students say that's hardly supervised. Kids don't even follow it. Yeah. Like, they just keep it in their pocket. This kid got his phone taken away, and like two minutes later, he got caught like going on his watch doing the exact same thing. This isn't going away. Technology is only getting better and faster. Does it scare you at all? Oh yeah, I don't know what the future will be. I don't know what my kids will go through. And right from wrong, there's like no escape from it. Goes out the door for an easy A. Brianna Whitney for Arizona's Family.